some of them right here will end up in jail. And if them don't, them children will. See what's going on in Angola right now? Look behind me. A judge just issued an international arrest warrant for Isabella de Santos, the daughter of the now dead ex-president and ordered the seizure of all her assets around the world. <laughs> wow, man. With the blessings of her father, the then president, she stole the country's oil money like sand from them poor, poor people in Angola. She thieved so much that she became a billionaire that made her the richest woman in Africa. I hope when they catch her, she rots in jail. And this is a warning to some of them right here. Then, in Mozambique, four days ago, it's behind me, an African country too, a judge sentenced another ex-president's son to 12 years in jail. He too, with the blessings of his father while in office, stole hundreds of millions from the starving people of, Mo of Mozambique. Hmm. I love today's technology. Both of them get catch up with a loot all over the world. It will happen here, right here very soon. Trump and his children may soon end up joining them in jail. Let's wait, watch and see. Let's also wait and see how long these criminals we have here in Guyana will get away with the crimes. Yes, the wholesale thievery that has been and still going on with the people of this nation's wealth. Old people always say, where you sow, you will reap. If not you, your children will. Only time will tell. Pray you all remain in power so that the right people don't get in there to give some of you all sponge bed to sleep on. Savitri Bajan from Linmir Village Quarantine told me just now, just now, she eat beer balanji and rice Christmas day and has nothing to eat for New Year. Since July, she applied and still waiting to receive her public assistance book in which she could buy a little bread for her new year. This is Guyana. Happy New Year.